So, hello, my name is Tinegiro, and I work on the Flash Play engineering team. And uh, yesterday, Kevin Lynch showed uh, something about a technology called Stage of Video. And uh, he was mostly talking in the context of devices and TVs, but today I can tell you that we're going to bring this technology to all desktop systems. So one of the biggest challenges in improving the video performance and fidelity has been that in most current GPU designs, the video part doesn't really talk to the normal graphics part. And when you think about Flash, in, in Flash, video is just part of the display list. And the problem there is that it's really, really powerful. You can apply filters. You can do all kinds of amazing content. And we see amazing content out there. But the problem is it's really not compatible with the way GPUs work today. So what we have done is we essentially we took a, a fresh look at video in the player. And we thought, OK, maybe video should not be part of the display list. So what you see here is like essentially today we have one Flash player lane, and everything is combined together. The new way of doing video in Flash will be that the Flash layer will be in top, and the bottom layer will be just video. So and I'd like to show you today you know, how much performance improvement you can get with that kind of change. So let's open up a browser here. And load a sample Swift. And also open the task manager, much very important. So you can see here that right now that's that's the way you would see Flash Radio today. About 40%, 30%, not too bad. And I have to say, this is already how we're decoded. Now see what happens when I put vectors on top. Suddenly, everything goes downhill. Very bad. And we max out the CPU. So now let's switch to the new API, Stage Video. Actually, let me turn this off. You can see that we are dropping down to, well, a little over 20%. Not too bad. <laughs> More importantly, when I now overlay vectors, nothing changes. Can we switch over to the Mac? All right. Obviously, no one would believe me if I say, yeah, this is Windows, but what about a Mac? Obviously, it's not going to work. Yes, it's going to work, absolutely. So let me show you the same thing here. Let's play like the old style video again. And by the way, that's uh, one of the new MacBook Airs. Uh, it's 11 inch. It's fairly underpowered. But it has flash. There you go. Uh, <laughs> so you see, it use about 50%. And I have to also say that's a 1080p movie. So it's just a trailer I picked up somewhere. Let's overlay vector again. And essentially, we max out the CPU here. Let's zoom in. That's pretty bad. I see the CPU usage here is like pretty high. All right. Now I'll switch to new API. Well, that looks pretty good here. We zoom in. And of course, I can overlay video and nothing changes. There you go. That's going to save a few power plants. All right, can we switch over to the PC, please? OK, the last thing I want to show you is uh, a little bit you know, over the top, something you know, we have been experimenting with a little bit. So as some of you might know, YouTube allows you to upload any kind of video, any size, whatever you want. And uh, I had actually a blog post about that. And one of them, essentially what I talked about was really, really large size video. And until now, it was pretty much impossible to play that back properly in Flash. Well, what I have here is actually a 4K video 
playing in Flash in full frame rate. What do you think? And going forward, obviously, we're going to improve that more. But that should show you that video in Flash is where it should be. We are there. Thanks, Tinek. Thank you.